Hi friends, welcome to Toddler Storytime. My name is Miss Renee and I'm here with Wake County Public Libraries. And all of our story times with Wake County incorporate the five pre-reading skills of every child ready to read. They are reading, writing, talking, singing, and playing. And that's what makes our story time so much fun. We get to do all of those wonderful things in every story time. So let's get ourselves warmed up for our story time today. Are you ready? We're going to clap our hands and we're going to shake our hips and we are going to stomp our feet. Are you ready? Let's wake up our hands with a clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 let's wake up our hands with a clap, 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 and then we wave hello. Let's do our hips. Let's wake up our hips with a shake, 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 shake. Let's wake up our hips with a shake, 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 and then we wave hello. Let's warm up our feet. Let's warm up our feet with a stomp, 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 stomp. Stomp, 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 let's warm up our feet with a stomp, 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 and then we wave hello. Great job, are your bodies all warmed up? I know mine is. So I bet you're wondering what our story time is about today. Well, I brought some clues for you to guess. Do you think you can figure it out? I bet you can. So are you ready for our first clue? All right, I am too. Our first clue today is the letter B. And the letter B makes the b, b, b sound. Can you make that sound with me? B, b, b. Excellent job. So now let's get out our magic writing fingers. Is yours up nice and high like mine? Great job. And let's write the letter B. We'll make a line down and then a bump and another bump and you just wrote the letter B. I am so proud of you. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Excellent job. Are you ready for clue number two? I am. All right, here it is. Clue number two is, it's a honey jar. Hmm, I love honey. I put honey in my tea, and sometimes I put it on my toast, and it's kind of sweet and sticky, but it sure is yummy. All right, let's look for clue number three. Oh, clue number three are trees. Oh my. So, I love to climb a tree. Do you like to climb trees? And I love to sit under the trees in the summertime when it's so hot outside and sit under the tree in the shade. So we have the letter B, we have a honey jar and some trees and trees, you find those sometimes in the woods or the forest. So I've got one more clue, your fourth clue, but it's a listening clue. So you gotta get your ears ready and listen carefully. Do you, do you hear that? Oh, it sounds like some type of animal growling. Hmm. So we have the letter B, a honey jar, some trees, and a growling animal. Do you think you know what story time is all about today? <gasps> That's right, bears, good job. Bear starts with the letter B. Can you say the word bear with me? Bear, good job. They love to eat honey like I do. And they also love to climb trees and they live in the forest where all the trees are. Nice job. Well, I brought a special friend with me today. He's my very special bear. And I invite you to bring a stuffed animal or a special bear to story time today, because later we're gonna get to do a special song where we're gonna play with our stuffed animal. And they're so fun to snuggle with when we're reading a story, so you'll get to do that too. So if you have one, run and get it and bring it to story time. So we're gonna go for a drive today. 
to start off our story time. Are you ready to go for a drive? So in this song, we're gonna drive our car and honk our horn and wave to our friends and do some really silly things during this song. Are you ready? Let's go for a drive. Driving in my car, driving in my car, driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. Red light stop. What sound does a car horn make? Beep, 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 beep. That's right. Let's sing the song with our car horns. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Driving in my car. Driving in my car. Driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. Red light stop. What sound do car windshield wipers make? That's right. Let's sing the song with our windshield wipers. Swish 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 swish. Swish 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 swish. Swish 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 swish. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Driving in my car. I'm driving in my car. Driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. Red light stop. What sound does a car muffler make? Let's sing the song with our car mufflers. Swish 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 swish. Swish 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 swish. Swish 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 swish. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. I'm driving in my car. I'm driving in my car. Driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. Red light, stop! What sound would you make if you were driving down the street and you saw your very best friend on the sidewalk and you roll down the window and you stuck out your hand? What would you say? Hi! Let's sing the song for our very best friend. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, 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 hi. Swish 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 beep 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 driving in my car driving in my car driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car that was so much fun going for a drive today. Did you have fun honking your horn and waving to all your friends? I saw so many friends on our drive today. Do you hear something? I hear a lot of birds. Do you hear the birds too? Oh my goodness, I think we drove all the way to the forest in our car. And you know what else lives in the forest besides all these beautiful birds? bears. Let's look around and see if we can find any bears. Look really low. I don't see any. Let's look way up high. Did they climb some trees? I don't see any there either. Okay, let's listen. Do we hear any growling bears? Nope, I just hear those birds tweeting away. So guess what? I've got a good idea. What if we act like bears in the forest? So get out your claws, you got them out, and let's growl like bears and stomp our feet. Grrr. Good job, everybody, you make great bears. Well, let's continue acting like bears for a minute while we get ready for our first story. Are you ready? Brown bear, brown bear, turn around. Brown bear, brown bear, touch the ground. Brown bear, brown bear, reach up high. Brown bear, brown bear, touch the sky. Oh, reach and stretch, good job. Brown bear, brown bear, touch your nose. Brown bear, brown bear, touch your toes. Oh, that's another good stretch, isn't it? Brown bear, brown bear, touch your knees. 
Brown bear, brown bear, sit down, please. Oh, good job. Now is a really good time to grab that stuffed animal and snuggle up tight for our first story today. So our first story is called Share, Big Bear, Share by Maureen Wright. And I need your help reading this story today. When I point to these words, I'd like for you to say, share, big bear, share, in your deepest voice. Can you do that with me? Let's practice. Share, big bear, share. Good job. Big bear smiled and rubbed his tummy the berries he'd picked were very yummy. He lounged by a tree and laughed with glee. Ha, ha, ha. These berries, he said, are just for me. That is a lot of berries for one bear. Birds and squirrels and two little mice thought the berries looked very nice. But bear just sighed with a dreamy grin, hugged his pail, and dug right in. In. Num, 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 num. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep, low voice said, Listen to me. Now's your chance. Read this with me. Share, big bear, share. Somehow, bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought tree said in the deep green woods, Hair, big bear, hair. My hair, said bear. Are you sure? All right, I guess I'll comb my fur. Boy, it's pretty fancy comb. He slicked his fur back nice and neat, then picked a berry and started to eat. Um, num. His friend little rabbit and curious deer smelled the berries and tiptoed near. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep low voice said, listen to me. Share, big bear, share. Somehow, bear misunderstood again. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought tree said in the deep green woods, Lair, big bear, lair. <gasps> lair means home, said bear. It's true, so I'll go home like he told me to. He lumbered to his cozy den, peeked in the window at home, and then <gasps> scampered back to the old oak tree and gobbled berries merrily. Yum, num, 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 num. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep, low voice said, Listen to me. Share, big bear, share. Oh, I hope he listens this time. <gasps> Somehow, bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought tree said in the deep green woods, Chair, big bear, chair. He found a stump and rolled it over, swerving around the bee-filled clover. Look at all the bumblebees. Wonder if there's honey in that hive. He plopped his rump on the smooth tree stump and popped in a berry, so juicy and plump, num num. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep, low voice said, Listen to me. Share, big bear, share. Hmm. Somehow, bear misunderstood. Oh, no, he didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought tree said in the deep green woods, Scare, big bear, scare. Uh-oh, big bear knew just what to do. He jumped up in the air and yelled out, boo! Then 
bear sat down and said, yum, yum, eating berries is lots of fun. Num, 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 num. <gasps> Uh-oh. The old tree yelled, be nice and share. Don't you know that's only fair? You like it when friends share with you. It's the thoughtful thing to do. Share, big bear, share. Do you think he got the idea this time? Well, said Bear, you could have told me before. He turned to his friends on the forest floor. Forgive me, please, he said nicely. I'm all mixed up inside my head. How could I forget to share? Come, everyone, there are berries to spare. His friends said, Thank you, these are sweet. We're glad you shared your summertime treat. Oh, look at how happy he's making his friends. I like to share, Big Bear sighed. It makes me happy deep inside. They gobbled berries and giggled with glee. Ha, 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 ha. Beneath the shade of the old oak tree. Look at those big smiles. He made everybody so happy and he still has lots and lots of berries left. The end. I am so proud of Bear sharing like he did. And it's sometimes a lot more fun to share with your friends than to not share, isn't it? So Bear, was eating lots of berries in that story. Well, you know what? Bears also like to eat honey, and we've talked a little bit about that. But I am missing a hungry bear who's hiding behind one of our honey pots. Can you help me find him today? Oh, good, so we're gonna sing a little song, and it goes like this. Can we find the hungry bear, the hungry bear, the hungry bear? Can we find the hungry bear? We want to say hello. So we have three honey pots to choose from. Which one should we choose first? We have a blue honey pot, a yellow honey pot, and a green honey pot. You think the green one? I think so too. If you look, I see a little bit of brown sticking out of it. I bet you found the bear on the very first try. Are you ready? Let's count to three and see if he's behind the green honey pot. One, two, three. Oh no, it was a tricky bunny. That's not a bear, he tricked us today. Well, I have a great idea. What if we hop like bunnies for a little bit? Can we do some practice hops like this? Good job. Let's do three little hops. One, two, three. Good job. Now let's do three really big hops. Can you count those with me? Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun acting like a bunny. Okay, we still haven't found our hungry bear yet though. So let's sing our song and see if we can find him. Can we find the hungry bear, the hungry bear, the hungry bear? Can we find the hungry bear? We want to say hello. So which one should we choose now, the blue one or the yellow one? The blue one? Great choice. I bet that's the one he's behind. Let's see, can you count to three with me? One, two, three. Oh, it's a bumblebee, not the bear. But bumblebees are really fun to be. So can you get your arms and wiggle them like this? Their wings go very, very, very fast and buzz around the room like a bee. Bzzz. Good job, you make great bees too. All right, so we found a bunny and we found a bee. 
Maybe he's behind our last honeypot. Let's sing our song. Are you ready? Can you find the hungry bear, the hungry bear, the hungry bear? Can you find the hungry bear? We want to say hello. All right, give me a good count to three really loudly, and we'll see if he is behind the yellow honeypot. Ready? One, two, three! Is he behind there? He is! Great job! We finally found him! I wonder if he ate all the honey in that yellow honey pot though. He might have. Let's act like bears for a minute. I think that'll be so much fun. So we learn that they have big claws and they stomp their feet and they growl. Are you ready? Let's do some bear movements. Arr, arr. Oh my goodness, you make great bears too. Wow. Do you know what's really interesting about all of these animals? They all start with the letter B. We have a B, we have a bear, and we have a bunny. Can you say those words with me? B, good job bear and bunny. Excellent job, my friends. So let's get ready for our next song. This is the song that we get to play with our teddy bears or our stuffed animals that you brought. I brought my little friend. So in this song though, we want to hold them tight so we don't drop them on the floor. We're going to toss them and catch them. We're even gonna put them on our head. So I'm gonna move my chair back a little bit. Are you ready? Throw your teddy bear and catch. Turn around, turn around, jump, jump, jump. Throw your teddy bear and catch. Turn around, turn around, jump, jump, jump. Put it on your head and Put it on your head and walk around the room. Put it on your shoulder. Put it on your shoulder. Put it on your elbow. Put it on your elbow. Put it on your knee. Put it on your knee. Put it on your back now. Put it on your back now. Put it on your stomach. Put it on your stomach. Put it on your feet. Catching your teddy bears, everybody. I didn't drop mine at all. Good job. So I'm gonna put mine down for a minute and we're gonna get ready for our next story. Okay, let's get ready for our next story. Are you ready? So sing along with me if you're ready for a story. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, wiggle your hips. If you're ready for a story, wiggle your hips. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, wiggle your hips. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. 
If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. Good job, everyone, and go ahead and grab your special stuffed animal and snuggle up tight for our second story. Our second story is called, Where is Bear? Just like we were trying to find Bear today, too. And it's by Jonathan Bentley. And I think this little boy loses his bear and he is going to need our help finding him. So look very carefully at the pictures. Where is Bear? Where could Bear be? Do you see him in that picture? Is Bear in the drawer? Hmm, is Bear on the shelf? Hmm, I see a robot and a boat and a car, but I don't see Bear on the shelf, do you? Where is Bear? I saw him somewhere, but where? Hmm. In the bathroom? I don't see him on the sink or anywhere. Downstairs. Hmm, let's look downstairs to see if we can find him. Is Bear on the table? I don't see him on the table, do you? Is Bear under the sofa? Look under your sofa at home. Maybe Bear is there? I don't know. Where is Bear? Where could he be? On the swing? I don't see him on the swing. Ah, maybe in the car. I don't see him in the car. Do you see him yet, anybody? Hmm, I just don't know. I'm getting tired. I want to sleep. Hmm, where is Bear? Oh, this poor boy. Have you seen Bear? Have any of you seen Bear? Let me know if you see him. What? Where? Where is Bear? Hmm. Oh, there is Bear. Look carefully. Do you see him in the picture? <gasps> He's hiding underneath the rug. What a funny place for a bear. I found him, bear. Here is your bear. Look how happy they are now that they found him. Oh, good night, bear. Good night, Bear. Oh, I'm so happy they found him. Now they can go to sleep. That is the end. Nice job helping us find Bear for him. Well, we have one more wonderful, fun song to do today. So go ahead and stand up with me. And in this song, we're actually gonna try to put our bear to sleep. Are you ready? Everybody clap. Everybody sing. La 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 la. Bow to your partner. G'day. G'day. And then you turn around. Hands in the air, rock by your bed. Bear's now asleep. Bear's now asleep. Everybody clap. Everybody sing. La 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 la. Bow to your partner. Ah, oh, good day. Good day. And then you turn around. Hands in the air, rock by your bed. Bear's now asleep. Shh, shh, shh. 
Ned's now asleep. Ned's now asleep. Ned's now asleep. Ned's now asleep. Wonderful job, everybody. Did you put your bears or your stuffed animals to sleep? Friends, thank you so much today for joining me for story time. Don't forget to sing, read, write, talk, and play at home. It's so much fun. Bye, 